Good evening, voters. In election season, along with an ugly verbal discourse that we have to deal with every day from our politicians, we also get to see dirty money and power at play. We've already told you a few days ago how already this year, in 2019, this Lok Sabha election season, the cash seizures by Election Commission have crossed the entire amount of cash that was actually seized during the 2014 Lok Sabha elections. We've not even started with our phase one voting and we've already crossed those levels. But that is not the focus point tonight. Tonight we speak about and focus on the income tax rates that are being carried out and over the last few months. Congress party, DMK, JDS, TDP, TMC, they've all been crying foul about how the IT department is being used by the government to target their rivals, to take away their money this election season, to try and obstruct their rallies, not allow them to campaign, and that how all of this is just a selective crackdown. Now, the fact of the matter is, there are very few examples. There was one raid that was done linked to a BJP candidate in Hyderabad but it turns out that that may have been legitimate money and now the bank is being questioned how did you allow such a huge draw of cash from the bank itself but there aren't too many doubts about the money it seems so the fact of the matter is that of all the big raids and all the money and the documents and the diaries that have been seized it's always the opposition party is there a merit to their charge that the income tax department is selective in its crackdown or is this a proof that there is one party that is the chokidar and the other camp that is the chore that's the big debate tonight after this report wo pichle 6 mahine se bol rahe hain chokidar chor hai bol rahe hain ki nahi bol rahe hain lekin note kahan se nikalti hai नोटों के बंडल के बंडल कहां से निकल रहे हैं असली चोर कौन है एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन टेकिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम राहुल गांधी चौकीदार चोर है स्लोगन इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट कैरिड आउट नेशन वाइड रेड एट ओवर फिफ्टी लोकेशन क्लोज एड्स ऑफ कमलनाथ रेडेड फाउंड डायरीज कंप्यूटर्स इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स एंड टू एटी वन क्रॉर वर्थ ऑफ कैश दिल्ली से इनकम टैक्स की टीम आई थी और रात को साढ़े तीन बजे के आसपास इन लोगों ने मेरे घर के दरवाजों को तोड़कर अंदर घुसे हैं जिन्हें मैं आपको दिखा भी सकता हूं इनके दो दिन की पूरी बारीक छानबीन के बाद भी इनको कोई भी ऐसा दस्तावेज नहीं मिला जिसको ये जब्त कर पाए ये पूरी तरह से राजनीतिक कार्रवाई है तीन दिन से उन्होंने सोचा कमलनाथ को कैसे दबाया जाए कमलनाथ को कैसे दबाया जाए दबाने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं मैं कह दू मोदी जी को आप ये प्रयास तो कर रहे हैं मेरे राजनीतिक जीवन में मुझे कोई दबा नहीं पाया मोदी जी वाइल इन डेली अहमद पटेल रिपोर्टेडली रैन टू द रेस्क्यू ऑफ हिस्स एड बींग रेडेड चुनाव जीतने के लिए सब हटकंडे आजमाए जा रहे हैं जैसे उनके पास सरकार है रूलिंग पार्टी है एजेंसियां हैं उनका जिस तरह से दुरुपयोग हो रहा है मैं समझता हूँ ये सिर्फ इलेक्शन जीतने के लिए अलग अलग तरीके के जो जिसे कहते हैं टिक्रमबाजी का इस्तेमाल हो रहा है वो तो अगर सरकार में अगर नहीं हो या कम से कम कुछ दिन के लिए सरकार हमारे पास आ जाएंगे तो पता चलेगा कि सबसे बड़ा चोर कौन है इट वॉज कुमार स्वामी एंड चंद्रबाबू नायडू लास्ट वीक क्राइम फाउल सिटिंग ऑन अ प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट द रेड्स ऑन देर क्लोज एसोसिएट्स This week, it is the Congress party. Union Minister Rajnath Singh dismissed the conspiracy theorists. इसमें गलत तरीकों का प्रयोग नहीं किया जाना चाहिए. अब ये सब सारी एजेंसी जो रेड कर रही हैं, जो अपना काम कर रही हैं, पहले भी कर रही थीं, और उनका काम ongoing है. उनके ऊपर तो कोई election commission का code of conduct लागू नहीं होता है. उनको जहाँ से जो जानकारी मिलती है, उस आधार पर वो काम कर रही हैं. हम उनको कैसे रोके� यदि किसी ने गलत पैसा इकट्ठा कर रखा है अथवा गलत तरीके से उसका उपयोग करना चाहता है तो ये सब ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ये अपनी अपनी जिम्मेदारी संभाल रहे हैं और वो कार्रवाई कर रहे हैं क्रैकडाउन 
Let's a good evening to our panelists. Rajiv Pandey, leader with the BJP. Mr. Jason Prasad, former commissioner with the Income Tax Department, is also with us this evening. I'll also have Sanjay Jha very soon with us. Nija Chaudhary, senior journalist. Dinakar Lanka, spokesperson of the TDP. And Saeed Afzal Abbas, leader of the JDU. Let's start with you, Mr. Rajiv Pandey, because uh, the charge is from a lot of your rival parties, from BSP to TMC, TDP, JDS and the Congress, that you are using and abusing the Income Tax Department. <coughs> I wish to ask uh, whoever is making this charge, is this the government who is first going to these people's house and planting these monies? This 181 crores rupees, first CBI, uh, IT, IT went and put that money into their house and then they have recovered that. You see, these things are very sad. Whoever is using this uh, filthy money for election purpose and IT is having uh, information about the black money, they will take action. During the election, it is not like that, that some people is planning to blast, uh, uh, to commit a blast. The NIA will not take action. IB will not take action. Same way, if somebody is, is stressing the, the huge amount of black money or whatever it is, money laundering, hawala or anything is going on, IT department and other agencies will take action. What is the problem? Kamal Nath ji, how 181 crores is... A, let the people explain. What is the problem? In several states, there is a uh, other party's government. You would have seen that today in Telangana, that they have, uh, uh, they have recovered some uh, legally... Uh, uh, accounted money. Mm. Now the party will go and explain that this is the money. Mm. Uh, you, uh, they will get it back. The problem is with the Congress party, they are unable to explain. With the DMK, they are unable to explain. Anvi, the, we, we, Anvi, with uh, um, uh, uh, Kumara Swamiji, he, he is unable to explain. Okay. The problem okay. is Point in this taken, country, Mr. Rajiv like cancer, this, this black money. If use, money is found on you. In the, in the in the election is like is a, okay is if like money is found on you and chemotherapy is required if for some reason electoral bonds are lying around okay point taken if money is found on you if for some reason electoral bonds are lying around where diary entries are are, are found they must explain it and if the explanation is found uh, uh, you know uh, satisfactory then it's a different thing point taken there on the other hand mr lanka like rajiv pande is pointing out 8 crore was seized by the hyderabad police in a raid last evening linked to the BJP. Now it emerges that that was legitimate money and only the bank must explain how did they at one go issue 8 crores of cash. Your response, the fact it remains that nobody has found dirty money linked to the BJP yet. I have three, three points very important pertaining to this issue. First, how much money is eligible to withdraw a, by a transaction in cash from a bank account is a question. Nobody has given answer from the BJP till now. Is there any guidelines, separate guidelines, rules set out by the RBI and finance ministry for BJP alone to withdraw a towards money? First, that is, whether it is legitimate money or illegitimate money, that is irrespective of the fact. The guidelines is allowed only two lakh rupee withdraw from the bank account that is number one number two post demonetization the prime minister of our great nation our nation the great modi what he told to arrest the black money counterfeit money fake money he introduced demonetization that means demonetization get miserably failed the counterfeit money fake money and this money is flowing like anything my allegation right from the beginning is that the union government declared at the time of demontation more than three and a half lakh crore worth of fake and counterfeit currency will not be deposited. Now 99% total amount has deposited means the conveniently fake and counterfeit currency also deposited, legalized those money and using that money against uh, uh, political opponents. Mm. These are the Hawala transaction carrying by the BJP and the BJP B team. That's why they are conveniently doing their acts and deeds and they are making, creating hurdles 
for uh, election campaign regarding to the political opponents by using okay, IT department what, what as you, a tool. Mr. As Lanka, as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, let you see that Putta Sudhakar Yadav attack has happened, but nothing has been taken. Nothing has been delivered. Le single BJP leader, single YSRCP leader from Andhra Pradesh has caught by the IT department whether they made a ride. The YSRCP leader, let you see that few days back in Mirror Now itself, ate the money in election campaign, where that money gets, more than one crore was caught by the YSRCP leader money mm. in Srikakulam. Whether IT rights happen, nothing. The police department get transferred, police SPs are getting transferred, and election so, commission so also Dinakar somehow Lanka, getting what you are saying the is Prime Minister office. that when TDP, in Andhra Pradesh. when TDP and its friends do it, they get uh, they are caught by the IT department. But when BJP or YSR and others do it, they don't get caught by the IT department. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Nothing. <laughs> Not only that. Let you see that few days back, I have seen the uh, visuals in the mirror now. The vice SRCP leader in Arlagata constituency aired money like anything hmm. in election campaign. And crores of rupees regarding to the YSRCP leaders caught by the local police, but no IT rights. Whereas the legitimate business were carrying by the uh, TDP candidates, they are riding, but there is no single incident. They haven't proved that okay. there is illegitimate money. Okay, but that, that proof has to be done. The onus is. But election you, campaign. But in that case, one, you. One thing. I will come back to you. Don't worry. I'll come back to you and then you can make your other points also. We are, we are very clean. Uh, Tanvi, one, one second, one second. Mm. One second, Tanvi. As long as we are in NDA, we are very clean people. After coming out only, they are they're tagging as a prastachar. Real prastachar is Modi and Modi gang. Okay, point taken there uh, and I will come back to that uh, aspect in just a bit but Sanjay Jha is also joining us and Mr. Jha, can you explain to us, uh, the, you know, one part of the argument obviously is, is IT department being selective in its crackdown but the other part of the argument also is that if there is a wrongdoing, if there is dirty money, then why should we be questioning it? Now, can you or anybody in the Congress party explain to us the 281 crore rupees that CBDT says they found in this rate. Uh, Tanvi, let me tell you, and I say so here with full responsibility. If any political party is, you know, canning black money, slush funds, take them to task, absolutely. But can we apply that fairly, please? Can we have a common yardstick? You know, it's absolutely astonishing that only the opposition leaders are being told that, you know, there is some money found on you. Now, there is a ridiculous scenario where Kailash Vijay Vargya actually put out the number 281 crores, whatever that was, publicly, even before the income tax did. And that is really a manifestation of the political interference being done by this government. I'll give you another example. You remember the Yadurappa papers that came out, the tape that came out? He did not even deny it where BJP leaders have been funded by him and, you know, all the senior leaders and the BJP election committee of 1,800 crores. No investigation. Nobody even talks about it. Mm. The election commission has now gone to the Supreme Court and said the electoral bonds is, could be a serious case of black money funding, mm. could be, you know, could be illegitimate campaign finance. And who's responsible? The BJP. They made it into a law. So they have actually legitimized so Mr. Jha, I am glad you bring that up of political because while BJP may have brought about the tool of electoral bonds, the only real piece, uh, real example that we have which is under investigation are the electoral bonds that have been found at the former OSG of Kamal Nath. Now those, why are 20 electoral bonds That's lying exactly. around at his residence and not at the AIC headquarter office or before that at the SBI office? So you explain to us, have you cracked the code of how well, to channel dirty money via electoral bonds? Well, let me tell you, I think 90, uh, Tanvi, pay attention to this figure, hmm. all right? And let me, let me tell you, I think Arun Jaitley and the BJP is under serious heat because this matter is now in the Supreme Court. And the Election Commission, thank God for it, has actually filed an affidavit saying it is an absolutely, you know, dubious, illegal, illegitimate way to fund political parties. Guess what? 95% 
a party gets that, that gets 31% of the popular vote, has 50% of the Lok Sabha seats, is getting 95% of electoral bonds. 1700 crores. So let me tell you what they're doing. This is what I think Kamal, I know Mr. Kamal Nath well. When Mr. Kamal Nath tells you that this is all a very well orchestrated political conspiracy, I know where he's coming from. These guys are capable of anything. They're capable of planting money. Can you imagine Kailash Vijay Bargya was quoting numbers? Madhya Pradesh is being targeted because the BJP is likely to lose substantial seats in Madhya Pradesh. And this is a state which had the Vyapam scam. Shivraj Singh Chauhan has now become suddenly as pure so, as running water. Can you, ten, can you then say... Vyapam scam which had macabre deaths as well... Let me understand this cle under clearly. ...all the nose of the BJP government. Mr. Sanjay Jha, let me answer, uh, uh, get this clear. Are you saying that the 20 electoral bonds that may amount to 20 crore rupees and the 281 crore of cash? Because let me just read this out to you. Here is a press release that I'm holding in my hand and that's dated 8th April. A press release by the Ministry of Finance, CBDT to be specific, which says, searches in Madhya Pradesh have detected widespread and well-organized racket of collection of unaccounted cash of about 281 crore rupees. Listen to this, viewers. The government body is telling us unaccounted cash worth 281 crore were actually found through various persons in different walks of life including business politics and public service a part of this cash was also transferred to the headquarter <coughs> of a major political party in delhi including a 20 crore that was moved through hawala recently to the headquarter of the political party from the residence of a senior functionary at tughlaq rok new delhi now Sanjay Jha, the question is very simple. Are you telling me that this statement is a lie? That the government is lying right now? Well, well let me tell you, aren't we aware, Tanvi, that how at the moment, even as we talk, whether there's a CBI, whether there's the you know, NIA, income tax, enforcement directorate, they're all obeying the commands of we know who. So at this point of time, why, are, why is only Mamta Banerjee, Arvind Kejriwal, uh, you know, Tejashvi Yadav, Lalu Yadav, why is uh, the TDP, why is Chandra Babu Naidu's party harassed? It is being done in broad daylight. I mean, you know that they were offering 100 crores. You think the BJP was giving checks? BJP was offering 100 crores to buy out our MLAs in Operation Lotus. That was happening just one and a half months ago. They are doing that blatantly. In Gujarat, by the way, they did that again a few weeks ago. You, you see, this is demonetization, I mean, as Arun Shuri said, is of, the biggest money uh, laundering uh, uh, scam. And discussion, we will investigate I'm this. That I'm crore telling crore you Sanjay that we come in proof? power. One, one minute, one minute. We will investigate the BJP the on money laundering, offered. not just Rafael. One minute, this I can't understand sad. anybody. Mr. Of, Pandey, what? discussion, I am not here. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Now respond. Rajiv Pandey, now respond to what Sanjay Jha is saying. We can't understand if you're going to talk over each other. Now say, what are you saying? I am saying, we are not here to discuss yeah. the discussion which takes in TS stall that 100 crores was offered and 200 crores was offered. This kind of thing should not be My dear sir, uh, said. Rafa he has no tape. proof. That is one. Yadu as far Rafa as the electoral tape. bond is concerned, it is already Yadu before Rafa the matter before tape. Supreme Court. Okay. Sanjay Jha is not Rafa a lawyer. Rafa so okay, he is one just minute. talking something Sanjay. in the No, air. now you are misleading. No, 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 Mr. Five Pandey. Now you are misleading. Firstly, one minute, Mr. Pandey. Don't mislead. There is no decision by the Supreme Court right now on electoral bonds. Ele Election Commission has repeatedly said it in the Supreme Court that they are not in favor of electoral bonds. It's your government that still insists on it. And look at the result. All this while we have been saying that electoral bonds will bring in dirty money. Here is an example that your own IT department is showing you and your own finance minister refuses to see it. Secondly, if you are fair, if your government and your IT department is fair, why weren't the alleged B BS Yadu Rappa tapes investigated? Why weren't the documents that were linked to him investigated in Karnataka? So that, 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 that. That was investigated. That uh, diary was that a forged diary. It was created that, 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 that and circulated. It was a false document. Uh, there is no answer. Why they are not Pani, going and filing there a is case no against answer. that? What that, that, that means what? What rubbish. Go to the court. Go to the court if you want an investigation against a BJP man. He is telling us, Mr. Pandey is telling us, Mr. Pandey is telling us, if you are not satisfied, go to the court. From our end, we did what we had to. Is in power. Okay. 
Let me go across to two more, uh, two more, two more uh, panelists who haven't spoken yet. Can we all say well, only one thing? Yes. You know, in 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 ja Rajasthan, in Chhattisgarh, in Madhya Pradesh, in uh, uh, Karnataka, Congress is ruling. They are alleging that BJP people have done corruption. Why they are not filing criminal cases and 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 searching uh, their house and attaching the assets? It is all happening. What they are doing? Why they are sleeping? Because they the been because the central agencies, Mr. Pandey, the examples that I was asking you about. Okay, fair enough. Yes, fair enough. The Karnataka police can go and do it. That will be attached. But the question that I was asking you, the examples that I was referring to, is where the central agencies were involved, which is why the question was to you. Now, also, viewers, here is another interesting thing. I read to you what the government statement said, dated 8th of April. You know, just one day before that, one day before these massive uh, uh, you know, raid findings were printed by the CBDT, there was a letter sent by Election Commission of India to the government, to the CBDT, to the Revenue Secretary, and it said impartial conduct of enforcement actions advisory issued. The Election Commission advised these agencies to be impartial as they go around conducting their raids. Use of money power with the intention of influencing voter behavior has over the years emerged as one of the biggest challenges for the conduct of free and fair mm. elections. It is understood that all enforcement agencies working under the administrative control of the Revenue Department of Finance Ministry must be undertaking enforcement actions based on a variety of inputs and actionable intelligence. Election Commission will strongly advise that all enforcement actions, Tanvi. when conducted ruthlessly, Tanvi. should also Tanvi. be absolutely Tanvi. neutral, impartial and non-discriminatory. Nirja Chaudhary, here is my point. The Election Commission has Tanvi. had to remind this Tanvi. to the revenue. Uh, Mr. Lanka, I'll come to you. I have two panelists who haven't spoken yet. So just give me some time. Nirja Chaudhary, yeah, yeah. Is, is there merit to this charge yes. that while there may yeah. be dirty money found, legitimate dirty money found on the others, that the IT department is acting in a biased, selective way? You know, it's significant that the Election Commission of India should have to state all that it did, asking the agencies to be impartial. Now, yes, if there's dirty money, it has to come out, action has to be taken, nobody will say don't do it. But you know, what is raising questions or doubts in people's minds this time? is that it's all very one-sided, it's happening. It's not to say that the Congress, when it was in power, or when the UPA, when it was in power, did not use these agencies for political purposes. We know they did. But this time, it is the magnitude at which it's being done. You know, if you look at the list, GDP, DMK, JDS, Congress, TMC, anybody who's in the opposition are the ones where the raids are taking place, where the money is being found. And if you look around, who has the money? Look at the ho hoardings, the posters, the rallies, the, the pesa being spent, social media. Everywhere, if you see signs of money, it is the ruling party that is flush, seems to be flush with money, and no action okay. seems to be, even to appear to be fair, not only just be fair, but to be appear to be fair, nothing is being done. So therefore, you just wonder, you know, what is going on. Secondly, I mean, we've covered elections, men, you know, over the years. I don't remember when the elections are underway that the opposition parties have been the target of this kind of, uh, you know, raids uh, to show Correct. that they are the ones who are corrupt and the other side is completely lily white. So, uh, whereas that is like, I'm not saying the opposition does not have that kind of money. I'm not saying that is fabricated. I think it is the selective way that this is being done. And yes, you wonder whether the agencies are being used for political purposes. Well, we've already seen the mess that has happened within the CBI. We've already uh, uh, seen the questions that were raised on other institutions. There's a massive controversy going around election commission and the way it's acting on giving issuing warnings to certain sides but not taking any action on the other side. Uh, so let me ask uh, Syed Abzal Abbas. Mr. Abbas, you and your party 
have been friends with the BJP, yeah. you've been enemies with the BJP yeah. as well, and now you're friends again. Do you think there is merit to the charge that whoever is in power uses these agencies only for their benefit to only target their opposition? In the case of the IT raid, और मैं समझता हूं कि जितने लोग रखे हुए हैं जो इल्लीगल मनी था जो मौका मिला तो उसने जो खबर मिली तो रेड किया और उसको कैश ये सामने आया तो मैं समझता हूं कि ये ये जो एजेंसीज है इसको ये ऑटोनोमस बॉडी एक टाइप के है उसको उसको तो अधिकार है ये तो ये ऐसा तो नहीं कि इलेक्शन कमीशन के अंदर में आता है कंडक्टर इलेक्शन कमीशन इस पर रोक लगा सकते हैं आप सबको अधिकार है इस ऑटोनोमस बॉडी है अगर कल ये इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट किसी की हत्या इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट तो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट तो अबास जी सरकार के ही अंडर आता है वो वित्त मंत्रालय के ही अंडर आता है वो ऑटोनोमस नहीं है नहीं बिल्कुल इनकम इनकम टैक्स इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट सरकार के अंदर आता है तो उसको काम करने का अगर ये जो लोग पैसा रखे हुए थे वो सामने आया और उसको जो खबर मिली तो वो उस पर रेड किया थे इसमें कोई मैं समझता हूँ कि इसको पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा नहीं कहा जा सकता है ऐसा कैसे है कि मैं समझता हूँ कि सिर्फ बीजेपी और जेडीयू और बीजेपी के जो बाकी एलाइज है जैसे कि जेडीयू हो चाहे शिवसेना हो उन सब के कि किसी के भी केस नहीं निकल रहे और सिर्फ जो है बीएसपी और टीएमसी और टीडीपी और डीएमके और कांग्रेस जो आपके सारे चैलेंजर्स हैं उन्हीं के नाम कैसे निकलते आ रहे हैं नहीं नहीं कांग्रेस की जो और जगह हुकूमत है पंजाब में भी तो है तो पंजाब में तो रेड नहीं किया अभी ये कहना गलत है अगर आपके पास पैसा है और आईटी ने पकड़ा है तो इसका मतलब गलत था तो पकड़ा गया तो ये सीधे कहना कि ये विपक्ष विपक्ष को टारगेट किया जा रहा है अपोजिशन को टारगेट किया जाता है ये उचित नहीं समझता हूँ बाकी संजय झा डू वॉन्ट रिस्पॉन्ड काम करने दिया जाए और अगर उनके पास पैसा अगर लीगल है हाँ तो सुनिए ना आप तो आप या हाँ तो आपको I I don't know बोले आपको शायद मालूम है कि हजार करोड़ रुपये इलेक्शन कमीशन ने बरामद किए हैं सब कैश था बताते कम से कम इस बात को मानिएगा कि नोट बंदी एक बड़ा धोखा था एक जुमला था और ये काले पैसे कितनी अजीब बात है कि हर जगह देखिए तो सारे पैसे भारतीय जनता पार्टी खर्च कर रही है मोदी जी के चुनाव पर इतने जो ट्रक और बस जो आते हैं ट्रेन से लोग आते हैं उसका पैसा कौन देता है जरा बताइएगा आपके इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड में जो 1700 करोड़ में पंचानवे प्रतिशत आपको गया ये पैसे आए कहाँ से हैं आप क्यों इस पर पारदर्शिता दिखाने से इतने डरते हैं क्यों छुपाने की कोशिश करते हैं कि ये लोग कौन आपको पैसे दे रहे हैं क्योंकि सच्चाई तो यही है कि ये राजनीतिक प्रतिशोध है यदि राजनीति में कोई गलत पैसे का कोई भी उपयोग करे तो उस पर कड़ी कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए उस पर कोई वाद विवाद नहीं हो रहा है लेकिन ये कितनी विचित्र बात है कि आपके जितने विरोधी दल हैं उन सब पर आप छापा छापामारी कीजिएगा उनका नाम बदनाम कीजिएगा चुनाव के दौरान और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग बिल्कुल दूध में धुले हुए हैं ये कोई क्या मजाक है ये ये आप क्या समझ नहीं कि प्रजातंत्र को साथ आप जो करना चाहते हैं आप कर लेंगे ये तो मजाक है मैं आप नहीं बिल्कुल अगर जो लोग भी हो भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोई भी पार्टी अगर इस तरह का काम करती है उस पर एक्शन होना चाहिए मैं मैं इसे पक्ष में नहीं किसी की कि अपोजिशन के लोग पे ही टारगेट किया जा रहा है ऐसा नहीं अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी या और भी कोई पार्ट, आ, आ, पार्टी के लोग हैं जो इस तरह काम करें उनका पैसा है भाई साहब तो 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 के लोग सीआरपीएफ के लोग मध्य प्रदेश पहुंचे थे सीआरपीएफ के लोग मध्य प्रदेश पहुंचे थे और यहाँ पर राज्य की पुलिस को किसी को मालूम भी नहीं था सरकार को मालूम भी नहीं है और यहाँ पर सीआरपीएफ जिसका काम कुछ और है उसको आप छापाबारी में लगा रहे हैं और okay. ये भी जबरदस्ती राजीव पांडे होल्ड ऑन टू योर रिस्पांस ये तो पूरा राजनीतिक साजिश है ये दुनिया जान भी राजीव पांडे होल्ड ऑन टू योर रिस्पांस लेट मी ब्रिंग इन मिस्टर लंका एज वेल दिनाकर लंका हैज बीन वांटिंग टू मेक अ पॉइंट हिज पॉइंट एंड देन राजीव पांडे कैन रिस्पॉन्ड टू बोथ दिनाकर लंका फर्स्ट बट करप्ट पीपल्स आर्गुमेंट इफ 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 लेट लेट यू कीप क्वाइट सॉन्ग सॉन्ग तन्वी if the modi feels that we are all political opponents being targeted let 130 crore people of this nation become opposition to teach lesson to the narendra modi in upcoming elections it is very clear that it is the mandate it is going against to the narendra modi five states already has get proved lok sabha elections by elections almost all by elections he lost he lost credibility he lost character to run the government because 
he lost to, to govern the nation uh, as far as the development and welfare is concerned, nothing to tell even single flagship program. That's why he is mm. concentrating on political opponents. Today, it is very clear, it is evident that he is using independent and constitutional uh, institutions against the political opponents and the income tax department, which is comes under the Department of Finance, using against the political opponents. Right. Let's let's and ask the man. Let's uh, ask the man who has worked with the income tax Minister, department. He himself asked that. Mr. Lanka, let me ask the man who has worked with the income tax department, Mr. Rasin no, Prasad. Uh, thank you for joining I us. I want to respond for a minute. Okay, Rajiv, I respond to this, and then I have to go to Mr. Rasin Prasad. I believe he is through with us now. Yeah, Rajiv. What I'm saying, you know, I, I, what Nirja ji has said, I completely agree that magnitude is very high this time because this government has taken a resolve and given instruction to all the authorities that whoever is a thief and holding, stressing cash, go after them and Achha. catch them. Don't stop because election is going on. What is wrong in that? Anvi, you know, Anvi, the, it Anvi, is such a big debate. Anvi, objection. It is being made like... I, I have objection. Uh, uh, no, no, no. One, one minute, gentlemen. One minute, one minute. Please, let's not talk over each other. I, ex I accept the fact, Rajiv Pandey, <laughs> and I am agreeing with you. The fact of the matter is, obviously, there is nothing wrong with the income tax department going out and conducting raids and finding dirty money or investigating if somebody is actually uh, indulging into money laundering, indulging into hawala and bringing in black money into elections which effectively would mean that at some point you're trying to bribe voters one way or the other. That's also the truth of our elections. From 2014 to 2019, it continues. Over 500 crores of dirty money has been caught already by the election commission. So that is the reality. But are you doing it selectively? Are you only targeting your rivals? That is the big question that we keep asking again and again. Mr. Resin Prasad is with us, former commissioner for the income tax. Mr. Prasad, here is the question. If there is pressure from if the government, if the CBDT is releasing statements, is a, yes. if the government is looking into it, just how difficult is it for an income tax man to do an honest job? Is, do you ever get the pressure, especially during election season, of yaha pe raid karo or waha pe mat karo? Nay, dekhi, aisi baat nahi hai. CBDT ने आज जो रेज किया है वो लोगों के कहने पे किया है कुछ दिन पहले रेज किया गया था कर्नाटक में तो सीबीडी डिपार्टमेंट को कहा गया था इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट को कि ये लोग सेलेक्टिव रेज कर रहे हैं तो इस तरह की शिकायत इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट में पहले भी आ चुकी है लेकिन ये कहना कि केवल विरोधियों के लिए अगेंस्ट में किया जाता है दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज रिसेंटली you know, when our Honorable Prime Minister was in Arunachal Pradesh, a lot of money was seized. Hmm. Similarly, some money was seized from BJP people in, Karna, uh, in uh, uh, Gujarat. Recently, in, even police agencies. When we are raising income tax department, people say, uh, forget that income tax department is one of the several departments who are engaged in uh, are, or working as per the direction of even election commission because everybody in the country and election commission wants that election should be free and fair. So it but, is the duty of all enforcement agencies okay. to see that movement of cash is being watched. Hmm. According to this only, in Karnataka, 8 lakhs, 8 lakhs rupees were seized which belong to BJP by the police authorities. But nobody is blaming police authorities. They are the, the, the ruling party is opposition. Similar amount was seized even in uh, Gujarat. So when the uh, first of all, we the income tax department also watching the movement of money. Recently, it was found that 20 crores of rupees came from uh, Indore and it went to the um, house of a uh, person of a political party whom we all know. So when money movement uh, takes place, naturally, being an enforcement authority, income tax department also acts. Okay. And the very uh, fact that uh, 14 crores rupees were seized, 20 crores rupees earlier came, and now to the total amount involved is 2,81 crores. So if even our chief minister of Madhya Pradesh said that the money was brought for distribution for some scheme of the government and it was kept in the house of his confidant. Okay. So this also shows that the money which was meant for 
uh, social welfare and for the children, they were being used to, uh, by, they were being sent by to Delhi AICC mm. for purchasing bonds. Okay, so money you, let, let, let me. Public government money. You are what you are citing right now. What you are citing right now is actually a report that has been put out this evening. Sanjay Jha, do you want to uh, also respond to that? Because this is a very serious charge, uh, you know, and it's not now run-of-the-mill, uh, oh, we found uh, some cash on you and some diary entries. The charge here is that in Madhya Pradesh, you're actually using government money and you are siphoning off government money into the party. And that's between yes, the CBDT yes, statement that, yesterday uh, you, and yes, the diary yes, entries like that Lalu, have been put out. Like Lalu, you, uh, the diary entries that have been now put out on media channels. Yeah, yeah, this can, is what Sanjaya, answer, answer, it looks answer, like answer, answer, that you are answer. using yeah. government welfare project scheme money yeah, yeah. and sending it to AICC headquarters. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, and I'm saying so, I don't even have to take anybody's opinion here. This is an outrageous acquisition. This is an outrageous acquisition. I'm telling you, uh, Tanvi, this is nothing but an attempt at political mudslinging. End of day, the simple answer to this question is that you had the CRPF. Can you imagine the CRPF getting into a, into a state unilaterally and then doing the searches <coughs> the way again, it has happened? The this question. is all very, Tanvi, very systematically organized. Question. आप जरा सुनिए मुझे जवाब देने दीजिए बीच में मत रोकिए बीच में मत रोकिए मैं खत्म करने दीजिए मुझे दो मिनट we will yeah, take this matter to the courts hmm. and the problem CRPF. is because the election the is on structure. because the election is on are hmm. just a minute bhai sahab jara do minute chup chap dusron ko bhi suniye because the election is on tanvi it suits the bjp's political narrative anything to divert from their own problems this is the attempt by them to try as far as possible to smear so, reputations so wherever can, they can, so can you and tell the simple me answer if the this Bhartia is what, Janta not party the truth, does not have the courage the bhartiya janata party does not have the courage are diary mein suniye 2 minute mr ja narendra modi ka bhi naam likha hua tha birla sahara diaries mein kya hua us pe Mr. Yeah, Jha, if this is not the truth, why, why did Ahmed Patel... Mr. Jha, one minute you are please. Again lying if on if, the if, if there is no Supreme truth Court to these Court diary entries, if there is no truth to the 280 crore cash found, then why did Ahmed Patel go rushing to that man's residence late last night? Well, let me tell you, this is a time when the BJP Tanvi is into framing allegations. They will do anything possible. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I want to ask you one question since you appear to be suddenly a very upright, uh, you know, man holding some very high principles. Can you tell me what has happened about the Yedu Rappa papers? Please, let's answer that. Let's not ignore, let's not ignore it. It's a very serious issue. Why did Narendra Modi on Rafael of 30,000 crores not order an inquiry on, on the Anil Ambani scam? You think this is a small, small ticket? Why did the Prime Minister, was he willing to hear Chaukidar Chore, but does not want to order a JPC? The whole Why? Deal is of what is Modi trying crore. to hide? Why is there no Your more president today? is unable to okay. understand Five years. I, okay, I, I, I'm running short of time and I have a question for Nirja Chaudhary, but quick response from, uh, from Rajiv Pandey. <laughs> Rajiv you Pandey, please. understand 30,000 crore mini. This is very sad. Well, let's not go down to the Rafael deal because that judgment Pandey. comes out from Pandey. Supreme Pandey. Court tomorrow. Pandey. Let the Supreme Pandey. Court decide Pandey. on that matter. Now, Rajiv Pandey. Pandey. That's what I'm saying. Sanjay Jha talks only, Pandey. which is no way connected Pandey. to the debate. You asked a very important question to him. Sanjay Jha is sidetracking. You asked Pandey. this question. SN Prasad is not from BJP. I'm He's a former IP officer. I'm telling He's you, this is, I'm saying it's He's fabricated. Shouting is not the solution. Excuse me, this is fabricated. This is a fabrication. This is fictitious. This is fabricated. This is fictitious. Yes, I'm not Mr. dodging. It's yes, Mr. Lanka. It's fictitious. It's fixed. It's Dinakar fixed Lanka. by the BJP. It is Tanvi. fixed by the BJP, Tanvi. by the Tanvi. Modi Tanvi. Let me allow without interruption. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Tanvi. Tanvi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tanvi. 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 When Chaukidar, when Chaukidar became chore, people will become Tanedar, teach lesson in elections. Okay, uh, Nidha Chaudhary, just very quickly coming across to you. Though You know, the fact of the yeah, matter also is... Answer. 
Uh, Mr. Prasad, one minute, please. The fact of the yeah, matter yeah, also yeah, is, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Nija Chaudhary, election after election, what we see is uh, seizures being made, you know, and massive allegations being made, but nothing actually comes of it. Nobody ever gets punished. There is no case. You know, the investigation goes nowhere after elections are over. Today, we are being told, look, 280 crores found at Kamal Nath's residence. They are laundering money. They are using electoral bonds, siphoning off money from the government to the party office. But I, I genuinely believe that nothing will come of it once the elections are over. I think that is the kernel, that is the heart of the issue. If there is a tip-off, and even about the tip-off, hypothetically speaking, <clears throat> if the Congress has a tip-off about somebody in the BJP, and they give it to one of these agencies, they pass on the tip-off, Will these agencies act on that, or a Trinamool has, or a DMK has? Will they? I doubt it very much. Number two, even you know, if they get a tip off and they act, they raid. No, nothing wrong with that, but they make noise much more. They make political propaganda much more rather than seeing it to its final conclusion. So the whole idea is to get political mileage out of it. Whoever be the ruling party, this government, this party, ruling party, is doing it much more efficiently than their predecessors. Well, I'm completely out of time, so I'm going to have to thank all of my panelists for joining us on this debate. I'm sure we'll have lots more in the coming days and more and more raids con conducted and more and more seizures are made. Now, it's, it's a great thing if an honest job is being done, if the money that is being found is actually dirty money meant for illegal purposes in election season, then I'm glad that the Election Commission and the Income Tax Department and any other central agency is actually doing this. But I hope they keep in mind what the Election Commission advised them just two days ago. Then when you ruthlessly go and conduct these raids that you should, because it is your job, ensure that you do it in a neutral and impartial manner. Because I refuse to believe that there are only a handful of parties in this country who are dirty, and the others are absolutely clean when it comes to election funding and election money. This is the only point that I wanted to put across. Yes, there must be an income tax crackdown. I would hope that in each of these cases, we are told finally what came out, what were the findings, what was submitted in court, was there a case, was there a prosecution, who was sent behind bars for using Hawala money. That is also the big question that the government agencies must answer us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on this debate.